Good morning. How are we? Hopefully well. <clears throat> I know there's been a lot of stuff everyone everywhere is going through right now. So we won't. Let's just talk about fun stuff. We're going to deflect or not focus on all the, the things that are happening out there in the world, no matter how um, horrible they might be. Um, but hopefully everyone's safe and um, going to be doing well. So to move on past, um, you know, to frivolous things. Let's talk about frivolous things. Hope everybody had a great um, week. And um, I know I was a... How do I want to say this? I have been shopping excessively but not luxury i broke down i bought a bunch in fact here's one i bought a battery pack that um i needed for my travel so i took have this one i have another one that just came from amazon over there i bought a charging doodad so you know getting things for the trip ready to go i picked up like some new pajamas from Target that are the Nordstrom dupe um just like frivolous random things that I needed to get um we went to Lowe's and bought well we we were trying to buy a door to replace our garage door but we had to have, have someone come out and measure but I digress so just buying all sorts of random things that aren't luxury related because I'm trying to be mindful that I have I have all these things I want to do in Chicago, all these things I want to buy, and I'm like making my little mental notes, like this is what I want to do. And of course, on Instagram, all I see are all the upcoming like LV releases, and I'm just like, why are you pulling at my heartstrings, Louis Vuitton? Why are you doing that to me? So I am, I'm obsessed right now with Color Mania. I'm obsessed with the Christmas animation. My video, this, I'm going to film it tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Um, this week is going to be talking about the few capsule collections that are coming out and where I think I'm going to be directing my attention. I'm going to ask y'all for your thoughts and opinions because I typically don't go this crazy for what's being released, but there's some some cute stuff I'm um, I'm dying for I'm living for so anyway other than that I mean it was a pretty uneventful week after um my um flu shot and COVID shot um didn't feel great for a couple of days so that was not fun but I think every time I get those I kind of like get a little rundown and don't feel well but it definitely um wasn't fun but other than that, I think the week went relatively okay. Uh, we'll do the nail check. This is rash at its finest. So I look like the typical goth teenager with its chipping nail polish. Um, so yeah, that was one coat of one coat black and one coat of the Fallen Flake Hollow Taco. And it wore... This didn't happen until Wednesday. I think so it's actually not that bad but still could be better but no top coat just the two coats and that's it um but I definitely am going to um probably just go with like a clear coat probably I'm just going to put like this on more than likely so we'll but you know not have to dwell too much on on nail polish but I have resisted I have resisted the last couple of releases the release this weekend it's her birthday uh the creator of this brand um quite a fan and um they're doing like this super colossal bundle of burst stone shades and for the most part i i'm not necessarily tempted but i'm, I'm kind of tempted by my birthstone i'm kind of tempted by um there was like a pink tourmaline that looked interesting but i think i have one that's similar so there's a few of them that are tempted but i'm not tempted by the whole collection but i was tempted in the last collection there's this one dark jelly like blood red that's 
so dark it's like um maroon it was just so pretty and I'm like I'm still I just think about it every day so I may have to pick up a couple of items um at the launch this this weekend so I don't want to but I may have to I may just have to do that so wow the double chin's really making its its thing now I'm gonna have to hide into my my hoodie here <laughs> Ooh, that's very prominent but yeah that's uh where we are right now we'll go over and find a bag of the week we are officially at under two weeks before we go to chicago so it's just oh my god it's just, i'm just so excited so excited chatting with people you know trying to plan what we're gonna do it's just like ah it's giddy school girl time so um let's get on to fragrances let's pick out the bag of the week and all of the usual stuff and then we'll wrap it up at the end here so i will talk to you in a little while okay so we had a pretty successful week i wore everything so that's always successful but um i yeah everything was just really nice i think my only real commentary is this okay so this Hermes fragrance beautiful if you have ever a chance to try it out test it out get your hands on it I think it's a, a lovely a lovely scent so I'm not sure I'm going to need a full-size bottle anytime soon because it is quite um I don't want to say pungent but I only had to do a couple of dabs here and there and it was just just beautiful it had a great sillage to it just a lovely um bloom on it overall just a very pleasant scent i was very pleased with it and it lasted all day um of course love my milfew um rosie jane was okay i mean it's it's fine it's definitely um you know one that needs a little bit of reapplication for me although it's an oil based one which is kind of unusual that that would need um it just became numb on my skin. Like I didn't smell it after a while. Uh, pumpkin spice latte, love her as per usual. So um, enjoy that one. And then my commentary is I love this fragrance so much. Um, I don't want to buy, because I don't really care for Tom Ford's bottle shape, but I bought this one with the understanding it was refillable. Let me pull my camera out here. So the little device here, there, this little deal goes in there and it should be refillable, right? Problem is I can't find anywhere where you can get these vials. And I'm like, well, what the hell was the point of selling me this for $75 if I can't get refills because this is a lovely you know component I'm not going to just throw it away so it's like what the, why would you do that Tom Ford and I would pay the $75 just for that that vial I mean what the hell this was just kind of a bonus but that just pissed me off and I noticed that with all the other they have you know the Lost Cherry has one I have it myself Solonage, all of them have this variety, but there's no refills. And I'm just like, well, that's just stupid. So, I mean, I get it. You want us to buy the full size bottle, but I'm, I would give me a pack of these as a refill at the same price. I would still buy it because I prefer this component of, you know, being able to travel with it. So that just pissed me off. So I'm, as much as I love it, I'm almost like, well, screw you, Tom Ford. <laughs> so, I don't know, but that's my rant of the week. But I'll go find some new fragrances and I'll come right back. Okay, we're back. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do vanilla diorama. And I haven't worn the twillies in a while, probably at least a year, maybe even longer. So this is uh normal twilly, regular twilly, standard twilly, whatever. Uh, and then uh, Pavoie, Pavoie, um, the pepper twilly. I don't have ginger and then I don't like 2D twilly at all. So, well, at least the one I got last year was a hot mess. So I returned that one. Um, 
really quick. So I do want to try ginger though. I should pick up ginger. But anyway, I'm going to wear those. I want to try Paris Paris in preparation for Chicago because I want to try some of the other ones while I'm at the boutique, hopefully. And then someone mentioned um, Spell on You and I only have a sample and I've only ever sprayed it once. I didn't care for it. I remember at the time it was really heavy floral and it just did not sit well with me at that initial spray, but I'll be honest, I never gave it a, a good chance. So I'm going to make that effort. I'm going to wear it someday this week. So this is the rather sparse tray of the week, the vanilla diorama, the Twillies. Paris Paris and spell on you. Well, I'd say it's about time to tear down all the grapes. They have given given their all. So I was laughing to myself just now because we have a neighbor behind us that has chickens and <laughs> This is the dumbest thing you'll ever hear when um, the song Flowers by Miley Cyrus comes on. My husband will say, I can buy myself chickens. And he's just starts singing the weirdest lyrics to that song. And every time I hear these things out here, you know, cackling or whatever, whatever they do, that's, that song just starts going through my head. And it's just crazy. What do you think, ladies? Should we go buy ourselves some chickens? They'd be delicious. It'd be all about the chickens. How about you, Boo? Is it all about the chickens? Yeah? That'd be delicious. Delicious chickens. He doesn't care. He's fascinated by cars. <laughs> this week um very fun to carry really enjoyed um having her around for the week and i'm sure i'm gonna bring her back out again sometime um after we get through the remaining bags and i i really am having a tough time deciding what i'm going to use this week i have a couple of things in mind but um yeah i just wanted to talk about how fun she was um to carry. I really think I want an, a, a larger one. Um, I just, I like bigger bags in general. So um, while it's it's a very cute bag, I think it's, um, yeah, a larger one would be nice. I think the only thing that I noticed, and maybe it's not as prominent, but I think it's some wear right here on the um, metal. And that's the only thing I can think of that is a little bit of a concern. It's just over time, how much wear that will get there. And I guess just insanely capacious bags that has absolutely no structure and just kind of sits and dies without items. It used to have its own uh, organizer, but I can't find it. It's black. My, one black organizer is in my Neverfull, and I used to swap between the two. So the Neverfull organizer would go in here, and I this was my work bag. Crazy, I know, to use it as a work bag, but work bag. And then I bought its own organizer, and now it has disappeared in the, the, the vast chaos that is my my office. Um, so yeah, this is the main has this really neat kind of 
keychain strap bag of charm holder whatever you want to call it right here on this one or you can have it as a strap we have another d-ring over here um has these little belts that you could um condense it a little bit more if you wanted to i don't do that um the closure is this koala type of nose closure to keep it i actually don't latch it i keep it open um it's lined in i believe it's the alcantara but um i mean it feels like sweet it's fabulous and inside it's just a giant black hole with one huge zip compartment right here so that's why it needs the organizer otherwise it would just literally eat everything and you would just be kind of fumbling around for dear life in there so i really like to have an organizer in there for not only the shape but um just to keep things a little bit more sane um, but I think I've mentioned before, I'm just a really big fan of the Mahina leather and how it's just a little bit more subtle with the monogram. I mean, you can see it, but it's just not as prominent as other, like the emprunt, um, type of leather. So I just really, really find it beautiful and it's just, just luscious feeling so the metallic is obviously over the top and indulgent but I just really enjoy carrying it it's got kind of a gunmetal um hardware so all the rivets have the LV in there um and then the side has LV but it's just a really cute bag and I got it for a steal I want to say it was like seven hundred dollars Okay, so that's ramp. <laughs> um, so I had to laugh because um, I had gotten an email from Nordstrom Rack about new in, and guess what? New in <laughs> a whole bunch of barefoot dreams, and a lot of it seems to be what I predicted um, around the time of the anniversary sale that the blankets and stuff would end up um, there and on sale. So. Anyhow, I just thought, yeah, I'm, I'm rolling around in my own, you know, pride, I guess, that I, I knew that was going to happen. Um, and that's just, the last couple of weeks, I've been getting notifications from my wish list that things that I had favorited were on sale. They're like an extra discount. Things that um, had sold out are back in stock, like the Prada Clutch with the lipsticks is back in stock. Um, the Coach Bag keeps coming in and out of stock all the time um just a bunch of random stuff so i just you know keep saying with the with anniversary sale it's like it, you know if you have to have it buy it but don't you know cry if it it if it just you know sells out right away they come back um and then you know eventually things do make its way over to the rack and, and it just kind of happens now some things don't jump it's not a guarantee but it seems more often than not things end up over there so i'm going to start going over there and checking things out i've already picked up a couple of things for vlogmas for um not vlogmas giftmas for um the giveaways that i do so i've got a couple items um already that have come in that it will be in that i'm gonna check out nordstrom rack for maybe another item or two but i'm like i'm really proud of myself i'm getting things done real real early so um it's a great great time of year to be shopping if you can and you know take it in stride oh nail check so i did the um like i mentioned i just did this as the nail polish of the week. So it's just a scattered clear top coat with those little flakies in there. I am going to get ready. I'm meeting my friend for a late lunch um, up at the Ram in Wilsonville. So we're gonna go meet, shoot, shoot the, <clears throat> as they say, <laughs> sit around, have some salad. Um, just, yeah, just catch up and, and do the things. So I'm gonna head up there make myself a little bit more presentable 
and have a good rest of my Saturday. I hope you have a good rest of your weekend. Um, hope your week ahead is fabulous. If you are carrying a unique bag of the week, let me know what you're what you're rocking this week. Um, if you're not, if you're carrying the same old thing, good for you too. <laughs> Just let me let me know. I'm curious what everybody's what everybody's in right now. Um, yeah. So we'll see you. We'll see you next week. Take care. Bye. Chickens!